Hi, I'm Ethan Keaton, Technical Marketing Manager here at Graylog. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to install Graylog 6.1 with Datanode on Ubuntu 22.04. And if you happen to catch any of my previous installs, welcome back. If you're new, the first time catching my, one of my videos, welcome. First on our install list is Mongo. We're going to import the key, create the list file, install and start. Let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, now we're on the Ubuntu box. This is a fresh OS install. The first thing we need to do before we jump into installing Mongo and getting the import key and whatnot, we need to download some dependencies first. Okay, now let's go ahead and import the Mongo key and create the list file. Download the package. And now let's go ahead and install it. We have to make sure to enable the service that way, in case this box goes down, it, the service will automatically come back up. And now let's uh, start the service. Let's check it to make sure it's up and running. Great. Mongo's running. All right. We have Mongo installed. Next on our list for installing is Datanode. You might be wondering what exactly is Datanode, right? So Datanode is a gray log management tool for open search. Okay, let's go ahead and cut back over to the terminal. We're gonna need to go grab the gray log package. Then now let's go ahead and extract it. Update. Now let's install Graylog data node. Data node is now installed. But before we can start it, as it says, it won't automatically start. We have to make some changes. So we're going to go ahead and grab this command here. Now we need to make one change to the datanode.com file, and that is setting the password secret. Now let's grep the datanode.com file to make sure that the password is set. Now let's go ahead and allow the rinse repeat the process of getting the service enabled and started. Okay, great. Now we have datanode installed up and running. Let's move on to installing Graylog. Okay, we're almost there. Now we need to install Graylog. We already have the package. So now we just change the syntax from Graylog hyphen data node to installing Graylog hyphen server. Now I'm gonna be installing on an open edition. If you happen to be installing enterprise, you make sure you change that syntax correctly to Graylog hyphen enterprise. Just like data node, Graylog is not going to start on its own. So we have to make some modifications. And remember before how I said that we needed to make sure that we had that password for the password secret from the data node.conf file. Well, now we need to grab it and make sure that we add it to our server.conf file. Use this command to set the admin password. This is a lab environment. So we're going to go ahead and set this one to demo. Next, we need to modify the Graylog server.conf file. We're going to add the password secret and admin hash.
Okay. Now within the, the configuration file, there's a, there's some changes that I like to make. So I like to set my, when I'm in here, I like to go ahead and set the server to the appropriate time zone. I'm on the West coast. So I'm going to go ahead and make that change. And as, and as well, I'm going to change the, uh, the bind address. So I'm going to go ahead and make this the actual IP of the server. That's it. Now let's go ahead and allow the re rinse repeat that process again with enabling the service and starting it up. Okay, gray log is up and ready. Now let's go ahead and try to hit that UI. But before we hit the UI, we have to go get some information. We have to go look at the server.log file. And here is the admin password and UI. So this is this is different. This is because we have installed this with data node. This only applies when you're installing gray log with data node. Looks a little different, right? This is the Greylog pre-flight UI. Greylog is started, but data node is not configured. We have to configure the CA. I'm going to go ahead and change this to Greylog Labs. This is now we need to configure the renewal policy. And as you can see here, you can customize the renewal pol policy to your liking. Okay, create. Now let's provision. All done. Let's resume startup. Now that Greylog and Data Node are both running, it's back to business as usual. So we're going to log in with the password that we set. And we're in the Greylog UI. If you go to System and Data Node, this is where you can find your information on the Data Node settings. That's it, folks. We have successfully installed Greylog 6.1 with Data Node. If you like this video, I appreciate it if you hit the like button. Also, make sure to hit subscribe so you can stay current with the latest Greylog content. Until next time, folks, happy logging.